Hello, darlings. Happy Tuesday to everybody and welcome to Let's Build the World. And why did that work? <laughs> Hopefully that worked. Welcome to the final part of Bob's Pancake House. We're going to get on with the interior today. We're going to finish the restaurant. We're going to do the toilets. We're going to do the kitchen. It's all going to be done. Welcome to a brand new week. Um, as you guys may have known because of my community tab post, um, some days, some weeks, sorry, I may have to take a Monday off just so I can keep up with this project that I'm working on at the minute. Um, and yes, that's that's it. That's it, really, to be honest. Um, tonight, I'm live on Twitch. I'm actually going to be streaming tonight instead of yesterday. So if you do want to come along, 7 p.m. GMT. We're going to be building Lily and James Potter House from Godric's Hollow. Now, I'm going to be starting uh, a series on Twitch, but also on YouTube as well, where I'm going to be kind of building the Harry Potter world. But as I imagine it to be, rather than what the movies portray it to be, I've, I'm reading the books at the minute again. I'm going through the whole series and I'm just inspired. I'm inspired from it. So I thought, do you know what? We're going to start off with Lily and James' house. Then we'll probably move on to maybe, I don't know, maybe Privet Drive. And then, yeah, just see where it takes us. Just see where it takes us and we'll do the builds as they come. So if you do want to join me, that's what's going to be happening tonight. And I might, and I'll bring a few of the big builds to youtube and we'll do like a let's build on youtube with some of the big buildings um from the harry potter world so yes that's it really to be honest so without further ado let's flop on over and stop building okay my darlings here we are back at bob's pancake house we're going to be getting on with the interior today so as i said this is going to be like the main um restaurant area this is the kitchen I'm going to, this upstairs is going to be, I'm going to maybe do something like a, I don't know. I don't know what to do up here, to be honest with you, but we're going to do something. I'm going to do something. And I've used this big archway from the Star Wars pack. It's actually in the debug section. If you do want this, it needs to be on a medium height wall because of the height of it. But I just thought it still allowed this place to be separated, but then it still looks open, very open, which I'm for, to be honest with you. So, yes, here we go. I think what we'll do is start on the kitchen. Just because I think the kitchen will come together easier than what the restaurant will. Because I've yet to pick the tables and stuff yet. I think we're going to go for a, a classy gastro vibe in here, definitely. I'm unsure if I want to use these tiles. I think, I'm, I mean, this floor, I'm thinking about going for the black and white tiles instead. Um, Let me have a little look at Yeah. I kind of like these ones here, the base game ones. I think we'll do this downstairs and then upstairs we'll keep the white wood upstairs. Um, so it's still paying respect to that this is going to be like a kind of pancake house. So I do want it to be not too kitschy, but maybe a few neon signs around or something. But I still want it to look very classy, a classy establishment for Bob. I'm for it. Okay, and I'm going to carry this on through into the kitchen as well, I think. Carry it on through to the kitchen and the same with the walls as well. We'll put this up. So you can see I've already put a door i've put the open hatch as well which i think would be quite cool into bob's kitchen so that's what we're going to do darlings yes we are indeed um how was your weekend i hope you had a lovely weekend mine was nice just chilled out really um could have done a bit more to be honest with you um but i didn't i didn't and i always like kick myself in the foot when i'm like because it gets to the weekend and i'm tired i'm just like whoa i just want to relax so the saturday i literally just stayed sitting down that's all I did on Saturday was just sit down. The, the only thing, the only thing I did was sit down. And um, I, I'm quite gutted. Do you, do you ever get like that? You feel like you've wasted a day and I'm like, oh God, no, it's Sunday. So on Sunday, I made sure that we got out. And like, I really wanted to go for a walk and do all of the things, you know. But I don't know. Is anybody else like that? Do, do you ever get to a weekend and you're like, right, I'm just going to just just flop on the floor and be done with it stop flipping around the other side you little shit there we go um but yeah that I, that was me this weekend and i was just like for god's sake you do this every time you think right i'm just gonna chill out and then you regret it <laughs> so stop it stop doing that i really really think you should stop to be honest 
Um, but that's just me. That's just me. I don't know what you guys are like, but let me know, you know. I think when it gets to the weekend, I just want to flop. I don't want to do anything. I've been using my brain too much all week that I just want to melt into the floor and not move for the day, to be honest with you. That is me. <laughs> right, I'm going to get all the um, dine out ones. Thank you. I'm going to get all of the dine out filtered. Not that dine out works much, does it, to be honest with you. So I do want like an industrial sink in here, I think. A sink, I think. I think I do. I'll pop you there for the minute. That might change. We do need to get a bin in here as well. But I'm just wondering, do we want to get some kind of storage in here? Sorry, totally burped then. Because we have got like storage in here. And it's not that much of a walk if you did need ingredients and stuff. No, we're going to keep it free. We're going to keep it free. Um, And what we're going to do is also get out that waiter station i'm thinking of putting the waiter station like in this corner maybe or i or i could put it here yeah this here this bit here would probably would work a lot better actually just by the stairs there um i'm gonna put some plants and stuff in around here and put some floor lighting underneath there i think i think that's what i'm going to do i do yes okay lovely right let's get those non-slip rugs where are you? There you are. I think these always look so commercial, which I love, especially in places like this, uh, restaurants and whatnot. And then I'm going to flip one around that way as well. Oh, oh, I'm for it. I really am. Okay. Shelving. Now they have got those shelves with this pack that has got all of the paraphernalia on, which you would need, to be honest. Yes. Should I put two in? No, that looks a bit weird if I put two in. I could put an empty shelf in though, and then maybe hopefully put something up on those shelves i think i'm going to change the color of it though for the more silver variety yes yes i'm for that okay now have you got like a hand washing um sign i don't think they have they should do really considering the pandemic that we're all in at the minute you know so what i'm going to do instead is do that signage from get to work i mean it's not exactly wash your hands it's like you will get electrocuted but we'll just pretend that this is a hand washing sign for aliens and humans i mean you never know who's gonna work here do you to be honest right we need one of these out as well a little fire extinguisher i always find this very large very large indeed Right, we've got you out. We need maybe one of these two. It's going to be difficult to put one of these in though. I could move this up, to be honest with you. It doesn't need to be down that low. Um, and then that will give me a chance to put in... I'll put you there and move you to there instead then. There we go. Let's squeeze you in there, darling. Let me see that. Oh, that fits in there. A dream. It does indeed. Oh, no, that's a bit too close to the sink. We're going to go up. We're, go we're lifting up. Up we go, darlings. And then I can move this into there as well now. Yes. I'm going to change the colour of that though. Because there is a silver version. Oh. Oh, for it. Really am. Um. Okay. We need some blinds. I think the only blind that would fit those three windows would probably be this one here. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. Um, Keeping it in with a classy tone. So I'm going to go for the grey. You know me and my grey. I love it. Absolutely love it. 100% love it. What are you guys up to today? Have I got my quartile placement on? I have. What are you guys up to today? I'm so excited about today because the lockdown uh, kind of rules uh, and laws that have been relaxed in England this week slightly. You're allowed to meet up outside with friends and stuff now. Um, so I'm actually meeting up with some friends that I haven't seen in months. And I am so excited. I'm so excited. What am I doing here? Uh dine out yeah i'm so excited so so excited to see them so i cannot wait cannot bloody wait we've been rattling on about it for ages so it's just going to be nice for us to all just meet up and not have to worry about anything and obviously being safe still but i've missed them i really 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 have missed them so i'm so excited i'm just excited loves absolutely excited really am right let's get some of these in and then it goes back to red doesn't it and then we'll just we'll just do that information across there oh for it now i need to remember this is a commercial kitchen so i don't want it to go massively overboard with um 
kind of clutter and stuff in here. We still need to put a bin in. I do know. Um, but we're going to do that. Right, let's put a bin over here then. Uh, did dine out come with any bin? Weird. Weird that dine out did not come with a bin. That always throws me. And I'm absolutely not for it. Mm, I think we're going to have to go for this one here. Because they have got a silver right. <laughs> we'll pop you there as well. Absolutely gorgeous. And down there, maybe I could put... There's that cabinet. Let me find it. There we go. I found it. Yeah, this one here. I thought that would look quite nice in there, actually. Can we use the paranormal plates? Clutter. Where are you? Can we put them on top? Or would that look weird? It'd probably be look better if I put these on a shelf, to be honest with you. But um, I don't know where I could put them. Maybe over this side. Maybe over this side. Let's keep you out there, darling. Let's flop some of you out. Or... Oh, God, where have I gone? Oh, here we are. <laughs> I was like, where am I? Maybe I could put these here instead. The plates there. I could move the bin more along the lines of being that way. And then I could use the plates on there instead. Where did I put the plates? There they are. <laughs> there they are. They don't go on shelves. Oh, they do. They do. Thank God. I was just about to scream, cry, and all of the above. I really was. All of the above. Um. Yeah, here we go. And there and there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that works there for me. Yeah, I kind of like it. And then this can be for best. For best China. For the best China. Um, Up here, I think a clock. Just so they can keep up with the time and stuff would probably be the best way to go. So we'll do like an uh, industrial look, or the workplace looking clock. Yeah, we'll pop you there. And not much else. I don't really want to be in here, to be honest. They've got a fridge, they've got a sink, they've got workspace. They only ever use this anyway when the um uh when the cook is chefing. When the chef is chefing. That's the mantra we're going for that today. But maybe I could get a few little pots and pans out over here instead, then I'll pop a few there. And maybe I could hang some from the ceiling. I don't think it came again weird that I didn't come with any of the like pots and pans from the ceiling. But I'm going to use these ones. And I'm going to use the shortest ones we can, I think. Just because I don't want them to... We'll just pretend that you can extend this down by chain. Via chain. So that's what we're doing today. Yes, we are indeed. Can I put this above here? I mean, it doesn't make sense. So no. <laughs> Not at all. I mean, I'm happy with this. Now, my thoughts were... I've just had... I had a thought. And this inspired me. Getting rid of that. And putting in the vertical vertical planters out here main reasons being maybe bob grows his own like herbs and stuff to use in his produce love that idea for us so i'm gonna do that bob's little like herb garden and then there's something nice for the staff to look at rather than a bin yes i'm for it yes we'll do that so yeah i'm happy with how this kitchen looks it's look it looks commercial i'm absolutely for it. i think one thing that we do need is put some fire exit signs in so let me get them out there we go i put one there and one there. You can choose your exits, darling, in this place. It's a classy establishment. And to be honest with you, this place is full of doors. <laughs> so you should take your pick. And I'll put one over there as well. Um, yeah, cool. Okay, what I think I need to do now is, first off, I need to centralise these. I want to get some sconces in here, I think. And I'm going to go in and find the tables that I think would match well with this place. So, I think we're going to use these chairs with this table. This table's from Snowy Escape. And this table, these chairs are from City Living. City Living, my loves. And as I said, I want two tables. Oh, God, will that be a bit squished in there? They might be all right. They might not be able to sit there, but we can just pretend that they can, you know? And shall I leave that one blank quite near the kitchen? Yeah, we'll do that. And I'll separate this off using these. These are going to come into play quite a lot in this build, I think. I do like them. It adds a good bit of separation. And I'm for it. I really am. So, cool. So, yeah, they kind of separate the area off quite nicely, which I'm for. I'm just wondering if this is going to be a bit tight. A bit tight in there. It is. They probably won't be able to use these chairs here. But just for uniform, I'm just going to pretend. Just going to pretend. They're going to have enough tables anyway. So, I'm going to do the same kind of thing, but with bigger tables in the middle, I think. I think that's what's going to go on. Um, Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. 
that is fine. The lighting will change now, though, because I'm thinking about adding more of these lights in, like putting one like sort of by each area. Um, We'll try and make it a bit more uniform. There we go. And then there. Stunning. And maybe one by the jaw. Let me see. Yeah, no, I like that. I like that. It would be better if I could move these maybe just a little bit more forward, to be honest, which is going to penalize this bit over here but what i might do is get rid of this one i'm just gonna get oh god i'm putting bloody the walls down for goodness sake uh i'm gonna do this instead i think what i'm gonna do is flop you that way though pop you there darling darling really darling yeah no that's fine yeah we'll do that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and just there i'll flop you to there just so we've got a nice bit of way here for when they come in and get booked in really detest the colors of this i mean it's nice like swatches but they just never go with anything that's the only one i can use really i know there's another one but it just doesn't look as modern enough and i'm not for that to be honest okay okay right let me pull out the table the the larger table version of this and some chairs and here she is here's the table we're not gonna do we're not gonna go mad i think i'm gonna put two there um let me see this layout yeah, no, I think I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to put two right smack bang in the middle so I can move that light. In fact, let's move you just a smidgen along this way. I don't want to... I want them to have, like, get the option to go outside as well quite... I think that would be cute. Um, Let me see where I can put these as well. Uh, I might have to move this around slightly, but it doesn't really matter. Or I could put it on the edge of each table like this. Yeah, no, I like that. The thing with that, though, is that the lights are going to have to change. And I do want them to be kind of uniform. So they're probably not going to sit central over the tables, which is slightly annoying. But I'd rather them be in line on the ceiling rather than the tables below them, to be honest. I really would. So that's what's happening. Yes, it is. Right. You can come here. We've gone a little bit more um, kind of classy outside compared to inside. The inside's a little bit more semi-industrial, but I'm for that. I really am. That's what we're going to do. Yes, no, that's cute. That is cute. I like it. I like that. And I think we need to have one more of these lights over this area here. Yeah, cool. Okay. And then here, I really want a coat hook, but there's no decent looking coat hooks in The Sims, which always frustrates me. Um, So I'm going to try and find something. I'm just going to use that one there from Snowy Escape. I know it's skis, but we'll just pretend that it's not. It's just a very, very nicely carved bit of wood. And I'm going to do an umbrella stand below it as well. Umbrella. Oh, umbrella. Umbrella. Umbrella rack. And I'll pop you down there, darling. Oh, I'm for it. Yes, I am indeed. Okay, I want lots of greenery in here. So I'm going to find some objects to pull out. One second. Okay, so what I've done is use that pot. Pot. Where's, where are you from? Uncommon Ivy. Um, It's from the Paranormal Pack. So I've put them with the lights. I just think it adds a nice little bit of greenery in here. And I happen to like how that looks. I really do. But I do want the tables to have their own bit of greenery as well. And I'm thinking about adding this little, whatever this is, a turnip. What are you? Oh, a cockadama. Um, so we're going to add one of these in. Yes, we are indeed. I liked that first swatch, to be honest with you. So that's what we're going to do, darlings. Onto each table. Stunning. Oh, stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. 100% here for it. Absolutely loves that. Oh, that looks slush. I do enjoy it. Yes, I'm for it. Okay. But I still want to add in those little, like, menu details, the thing that we put out here. So I'm going to put them on the tables as well. I'm going to pop one of those there. I pop one right there. Is that cutting in? Not really, no, that fits there gorgeously, which is what I'm going to do. It's what I want. Right, you there. Another one here, darling. Oh, for it. Yes, we'll move you along there, though, just so you're uniform with the other one. Oh, oh yes, I'm for it. I really am. Okay, over here, I've put the waiter station here. Now, I do want to do some of those wall level, wall level floor level lighting which i use to death but i'm just for them i really am i'm for a lot of things today it's because i'm excited i cannot wait to see my friends <laughs> i could cry 
I actually, I actually could have a little cry. I won't lie to you. <laughs> I'm so excited to see them, and I'm not rubbing it into anybody out there that I know you're all going through. And I know we all want to see our friends and stuff, but I talk to you guys like my friends because you are my friends. Um. So I just want to get excited with you guys, you know? So by no means am I trying to rub it in that like if you can't see your friends or whatnot. I know <clears throat> lockdown measures are different all over the world at the minute. Um, but I just want to share my excitement with you, you know? And I cannot wait. It's been months and months since I've seen them. So, oh, I'm so excited. So excited. <laughs> Right, let's get a little fire exit on this bit here as well then. Seeming as this one's free, you'll be able to run through that way in case of any hefty fires, you know? I like how it looks. I don't really want to add too much more. I'm thinking about doing a bit of greenery here. Now, I was going to put some greenery under there, but I'm unsure now. I just think it looks nice being a bit bearer there. I think that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to add some greenery on this side. I did put some more of these plants here, but I'm thinking actually, what about if I put those in there? Yes, because they fit in like a dream. Oh, for it. And then here, I'm going to do a bit more of a bigger boy. A bit more of a leafy boy, this one here. Um, Not in that, though. Let's do you in the white. And I can put you just there. And you will. Oh, look at the shadow on that. It's so awful. I wish they would bloody sort that out. I really do. Yeah, I'm happy with how this looks. Clash the establishment. It's got everything that you would need down here. I'm for it. Um, let me just see this. Oh, I'm for that. Yes. Yes, that'd be a good um, screenshot. Let's see if we can get some sun coming in through the windows, can we? Not really. <laughs> Not really at all, to be honest. <sighs> but I do like the way it looks. I do. So I think we'll leave that there. I think we'll leave that there. And we're going to go upstairs. So upstairs. I'm thinking of making this more of a boothy. Technical term for you there. I'm thinking about making this more of a boothy area. So, I'm, I love these booths here. I much prefer them to the dine out ones. I think the dine out ones are a bit meh. But these are from the Star Wars pack. So, I'm thinking of boothing up this area. Not necessarily for somewhere to come and eat, even though you would really. But maybe somewhere to go have some drinks with your friends. I'm just totally burnt. <laughs> How uncouth. How uncouth indeed. So, I think... I'm going to do this. I know it's cutting into the um, thing here slightly, like this doorway, but I'm still going to do that because I'm going to add some greenery around the sides and stuff. Now, table-wise, this might prove a little bit difficult because there's not many tables that do click on the edges here. I don't think. Oh, well, slap me down, tick on my tits with a feather. Well, I didn't even realize that. So I could probably go for white tables with this then. Oh, 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 that's very small, but we're going to do it anyway. Considering the size of the booth, I think it's very tiny. Why is it like allowing me to put it anywhere that I want? Where do you work would be the most. Oh, so it's wherever it's highlighted, it must work. So can Sims get sit in there? No, it can't. Did you hear blue then? You probably didn't, but he let out an all melty. Almighty belch. It wasn't me that time. I promise. Yeah, no, that's cute. That's cute there. I do enjoy that. You can see what I did with the curtains as well. I like that. Never done this. These blinds and then the sheer curtains. Oh, I'm absolutely for it, darlings. Um, Weirdly at the minute, the windows are not working properly with curtains and stuff. It's so annoying. But I don't like the curtains anyway. So, you know... Right, okay, we've done that. Now, these here, I was thinking about adding on to each. Oh, Christ. Adding on to each side. And I like, oh, uh, I might have to move them manually. There we go. That looked great. I'm glad that we did that. Um, do you ever like slip and then <laughs> place something somewhere? Because I do probably nearly daily, to be honest. Okay, can they still get in if I use them like this there, though? We'll find out. I'll make sure to play a test test this before it goes on the gallery. Um, a few builds coming up onto the gallery this week as well. Obviously, I still need to get up the um Larkin's house. And I'll get this one here put up on the gallery for you guys too. Um, but yes. I also forgot to say with the Harry Potter builds that I'm doing, I'm using custom content. I'm using custom content to 
Um, so I'm going to be sourcing lots of new custom content to try and fit in with that Harry Potter vibe, which I can't wait for. I'm really excited about it. I am. I am. Now, I like the door open that wide because it does, but it's just throwing me off by having these sofas here. So what I'm going to do is maybe put some plants behind it. Um, what would you look like? Oh, oh, you might be a good shout, darling. You're a bit dark there. Do you come in a grey? Of course you don't. Don't be so daft, Aiden. Uh, so let me find a good plant. That's what I've come up with. I think that looks nice. I've used the planter and the ivy pieces, so it has shut it off a little bit. But I think it just makes a bit more sense rather than having these kind of here. The flow through is much better. And I'm happy with that. Yes, I am indeed. Do these need to go back one? No. <laughs> no is the answer to that. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a light above each booth. And um, we'll put it directly uh, above the tables. Let's get some flowers on this side as well. Why did I miss this bit out? Why did I miss that bit? I have no idea. But I'm going to do what we did downstairs with the ivy from the lights as well. I just really loved that look. So I'm going to do it. And then in the middle, I think I'm going to put a fish tank. I think I am. I'm going to put a fish tank, darlings. Um, so let's uh, flop you in here as well. Now, I think I put them on this side because it wasn't cutting through as much. There we go. Yes. So it's in between the two smallest. Yep, that's not cutting, is it? Nope, that's fine. And then this side. There we go. And on this side here as well. Uh, I'm going to put you around to like there. Oh, that's cutting that one. Oh, God. That's cutting. There we go. Ah, stunning. Right, can we get an aquarium here? I think the one from... Um, Dine Out would work well here. Could I put two, maybe? If I can do them in a darker... I could put two in here, couldn't I? And I think I'll put them around this way. Um, Is that one the wrong... Yeah, we'll face you that way. And put them in the middle. And then I'll merge them together centrally oh oh i'm for it let me see that yeah yeah no i like that yeah i think i do i think i do like it okay and i think what i'm gonna do is climb some more of this ivy up the walls oh god it's gone it's gone a bit dark in here oh je detest je detest indeed and i can't put one there anyway because the windows are different on each side oh Oh, I'm very disappointed about that. I thought that was going to work. Mm. What about you? You're the same. You're the same. Oh, well. What I'll do instead then is I just needed to light it a bit better. I think that looks nice now. Yes. Yes, I'm for it. Okay, we'll copy what we did. Let's get two of one of you up here. Up you go on there. Uh, oh, Christ. And then one of you as well up here and then we can copy them onto each table up here too oh i'm for it i really am um I... would have been nice to put a bar in this area but the thing is this is more more in my head like a breakfast place bob's pancakes house you know so it's it doesn't make sense to have a bar up here so i'm not going to not going to do it shan't and won't sorry no the answer is no the answer my friends is no yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, I do like it. I do. And I think to finish off, we'll do these toilets. So we've got two equal size toilets here. Let's get some unisex doors going. Um, and I think the ones to use will probably be this one here in a black. Because um, they do. I do like these ones. Yeah, we'll pop one there. One there. I'm going to probably tile the toilets. In the end, I don't know whether to use the... I oh, know. Do you know what? To keep it uniform, I think I will. I'll use them. Let's get some full blinds going on in here. Lovely. Lovely. There's one on this side as well. Gorgeous. Um, commercial toilet. So I'm thinking using the get to work one. I think it would fit with this establishment. Um, and I think I'm going to do the toilets in the, cor the corners. I'm going to change the color of that because it doesn't suit it. It's Yeah, we'll go for black. And we'll do the same here. Huge toilets. Huge toilets, not much in them. <laughs> that is the mantra for today. Uh, and I think 
Oh, maybe I should do some counters instead in here. Yeah, we're going to do some counters. We've got the space for it, so why not? So it means I'll have to maneuver that door a little bit, but that doesn't matter. That does not matter. Um, Why is that one in the middle and that one's not? Is this smaller? No, it looks smaller, weirdly. I don't know why. But maybe the door just wasn't in the right place. There we go. Okay, and then sink. I'll probably do like an industrial moment in here. One there. One there. Mirror. We will be able to fit that long, gorgeous mirror from Spa Day in here. Oh, you bet your titties we can. So, yes, we'll do that. Gorgeous. And then we need to remember that this is... Oh, what could we do on either side there? We can't do anything there because of that window. Can I get rid of that window? I'm going to. I'm going to get rid of that window. Goodbye. You're not invited. You were ruin ruining the uniform... You, the uniform anonymity. That's... <laughs> that is a word, by the way. It's very not. It's very much not, but... Shush, shush. We're going to keep that there. Lovely. And then we're going to go in and start adding in all of the toilet roll details. Where are the toilet rolls? You know, we've got 159 toilets and the same bloody boring base game toilet roll holder... You know, we've never had... That's weird, isn't it? Don't you find that strange? Very strange. I'm not for it. And I think what we're doing here is also add in these lights into the toilet. And I could put those plants in here as well just to add a bit more greenery into here. Now, I do, do need to make it look a little bit more commercial. So I will be adding in... Um, the same things as what we put in the kitchen, the, the hand things. Let me just pop that up there roughly for the minute. And also that paper towel dispenser. We'll pop them in too. So I probably have to put them off to the side, but that doesn't matter too much. That does not matter too much. Uh, and the same here as well. We'll pop it there. I always thought this was a hand dryer when I first saw this. I thought, oh, it's a hand dryer. That's cool. No, it's not. It's a soap dispenser. It's a soap dispenser. Is that the right height there? It certainly is. And then you can come here. And hopefully I can get like a bin in here. I'll put the waste, the bin down by the side here. Um, Kitchen, kitchen. There we go. Um, You were on bins already, Aiden. So I'll add one of these in. Oh, that's a bit big. I've never said that about a bin before in The Sims 4, but there you go. Um, And one down there as well. And then up on the side here, I think maybe just adding a nice plant. Yeah, like this. Does this come in a darker tone so we can match it in? Oh, it does look. Yeah, we'll add one of them up there and one of them there as well. Oh, there we go. Yeah, no, that's fine. I think that will work well. Okay, and I'm going to add in the. I've used this to death in here, but I think it works. It just works, you know? It really does. Um, I need some lighting. I need some lighting around this area. So I'm going to use these wall lights. Um, I'm going to pop one on this side. Size it down. And I'm also going to pop one behind these plants over this side. Size it down too. And then maybe one in the middle here as well. There we go. Yeah. This almost needs something here. Let me find something. There we go. I've just added in a bit of architectural detail on that bit. And it, that goes right under, down to the floor as well. And the understairs. Or under the stairs, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm for that. I'm absolutely for this. Okay. Okay. Look, uh, we're done. Bob's pancake howls. It's complete, my loves. So this is obviously the exterior. Oh, let me move myself down because I hate that. Okay. So exterior. Moving down, moving across. We've got the outdoors area. Is this the right lighting? We'll just do it like that. There we go. A little outside dining space as well in the gardens. Love that for them. Really do. Then obviously we've got the little staff area out here. Um, including the little store cupboard and Bob's um, Eliza hideout. Oh Christ, this bloody camera. There we go. Lovely. Why am I so high up? I'm never going to get over how bad this camera is. I'm really not. <clears throat> anyway, 
<laughs> Moving into the interior. So you come in through this way. You get seated at your table here. They've got tables to choose from downstairs. All of these little areas. I'm absolutely for it, to be honest. Yeah, nice classy establishment. Then obviously we've got the kitchens in here. Or the kitchen. Lovely. So they can spy out all their patrons. Big slidey doors out to the garden there. And then you come up this area here. Um, which is a bit more of a relaxed area where they can come and just vibe with their families. Watching some fish, which I'm absolutely for. Don't ignore the ceilings in here. I think they go very nice with this establishment. I really do. Cool. And then the toilets, obviously, as well. So, nice. Mirror's still broken. Um, but yeah. Done, my loves. We are done with Bob's pancake hulls. Yes, we are indeed. There we go, Poppets. We are done with Bob's Pancake House. We're going to be back tomorrow. Um, we're going to be making a start on Renee's Vets. So, v Renee's Veterinary Surgery. Now, I want to go... I still want the build itself to marry him well with the street. But I do want it to look slightly modern as well. So, I might do the bottom half quite modern. And then the top resembling what Bob's does next door. I think I'm going to go for that kind of vibe. Yes, I am. Um, as always, leave me some lovely comments down below, my friends. I love hearing from you and I love interacting you with you. Uh, live on Twitch, 7pm, building Lily and James Potter's house in Godric Hollow with some sexy custom content. So if you do want to come and join us, you know where to find us because the link is down below. Other than that, I'm going to leave you. Goodbye.